Tammy Bradley Show. Thanks for joining me for the first of many shows that will bring to light issues in our community that will showcase music artists, fashion designers, and other talented people from around the globe. And what's the show in the South of Louisiana without some good cooking? I'll be visiting restaurants and bringing you the smells and flavors of the authentic cuisine in our area. But today we start with a topic near and dear to my heart, the glitz and glamour of beauty. Flashing lights, the catwalk, the grace, the glamour of pageants can all be dimmed by negativity on television. We usually see the dark side of pageants, parents fighting, directors arguing, and contestants being unhappy. I'm here to give you a different perspective. I've been a part of the pageant world for 22 years now, and I have seen it impact lives. I have seen young girls gain confidence, gain self-esteem, and I've seen hardworking moms by their side. Stay rolling up scale, up, up, up scale, up, 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 up scale. Hey, I'm Val Sanders, and this is my daughter, Hope. She's been doing pageants since she was nine years old. She loves to do pageants. Scale, up, 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 up scale. Why do you like pageants? Um, I like pageants because it gives us our time together. As well as, um, as well as little girls, all little girls like to play dress up. So it gives us the time to express our little character, her personality. We play dress up. Um, a lot of pageants we do, we have theme pageants. So we enjoy coming up with different concepts and stage props and stuff. And as you mentioned, we do have good days and bad days. On her bad day, I don't really punish her or stone her. I say, okay, mommy, next time we'll try. But on her good days, of course, we love her good days. <laughs> she loves it. We have won crowns, monitor gifts, uh, toys. It's just an, a day of enjoyment. Even after her favorite thing, she says, mom, after I win, are we going to go to Chuck E. Cheese? Well, of course. Stay rolling up scale, up, up, up scale. You can't have a successful beauty pageant without good directors. They put long hours to make sure the little things are done, like the roses and the flowers in the right places, the lights and the catwalks are just right, and of course, to make sure that the tiaras are just the right size. Directors wear many hats, sometimes their moms, dads, and even counselors. So if you are a beginner and you just want to start out with like a baby contest, that would be great for somebody that just wants to test the pageant boards. Um, if, you, if you're you know, seasoned, you have your modeling experiences, you have your coaches, and you've got your hair and makeup, and your pageant equipment. Stay rolling up scale, up, up, up scale, up, up, up scale. Shows like Toddlers and Tears that talk about pageants, it is for entertainment. So they're going to get what they can think is the juicy part of a, a story. You know, they may take an isolated event and they turn it into that's what all happened. Linda's pageant, what you didn't see on the other side is like she said, you saw the little girls getting along, the moms helping each other, running back and forth to rooms. You didn't see that part. So sometimes pageantry, they, they take the, the one little isolated event and they, they make it out like that's all it's about. It's all about one child throwing one temper tantrum when it's totally not, you know. So we're excited, you know, that we are actually able to speak and show that not all pageantry is like that. There are goods um, to what we do and what we engage our daughters in as well. I think the most important thing that I think everybody should understand is that that is an edited show. They pick apart what parts they want. And I actually was sitting there during one of the interviews that they had done with one of the mothers. And the way her interview came across on television was not the way the interview went. They took choppy pieces and pieced it together the way that they wanted it to look. And I think that people should just understand that it is edited. It's put together the way they want it to be seen. Perhaps the most touching story involving a little girl battling cancer. I met little Grace when she, when she was three months old. She's a beauty queen who has been fighting for her beauty title since she was three months old. But her biggest fight is staying alive. I spent some time with her and her family. Oh, can I have one? Thank you, Grace. This is a green one. Can I have you down one? Yeah, you can have the green one. On January 24, 2013, Grace had a heart procedure done. Um, she was born with a right subclavian heart artery. They had to go in and remove it from her um, esophagus. 
and to the front of her esophagus because she had a vascular ring. Um, we come back March the 5th for an echocardiogram to see if the procedure took. She also has what they call primary immune deficiency. Um, it's where children build antibodies and sometimes they lose memory, so it's a long, lengthy process. It starts with antibiotics and then it goes sometimes into IVIG treatments. How has all this been? The surgery, the um, pageants? It's, um, it's been a hard road um, with all three of my children, but um, in the same sense, it's also been a plus. Um, it, doing pageants um, helps us get our minds off of all the issues that we've got going on in our life between medical and doctors and hospitals. Thank you so much. Thank you, I'm excited to introduce to you Loyal Hollywood. He flew into the Big Easy from Los Angeles, California to do an interview for the Tammy Bradley Show. He's an upcoming major artist at the Nod Factor Record. Loyal Hollywood is active on social media too. He has more than 26,000 fans on Twitter. And how long have you been singing? I've uh, been actually writing music and performing since the age of eight. So you write your own music? Yes, ma'am. Oh. And what is the, the, the hit now that we were talking about? Oh, my new single, which is a hit, is 20s on 20s. It's a twerk record. Twerk record? Yeah. Oh, well, New Orleans only twerk. I heard of Hollywood you twerk. Well, Tammy, nowadays twerk music is pretty, pretty hot in the club industry and the radio industry. So my manager, my manager Angela Richardson, she told me that was a good way to go. That's a good way to put money in your pocket and get a good career, a good strong career going and a nice following. I understand that it hasn't always been easy. That you have struggled. I mean, this, that's, I guess that's the thing that motivated you to be where you are today. Of course, of course. All of that has to do with all the passion that I hold inside of me, the continuous, uh, the, the, the just grind, the just determination to just go where God has, you know, has to, you know. And what is that struggle? The struggle, I would have to say, growing up with a single parent, you know, my mother, um, I say from the age of eight to 13, we lived in, from, we went from project to shelter to shelter to shelter. And it went from shelter to shelter to a blessing, which was my mother's first home, which was a uh, section eight housing. Section eight housing? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And once we got that house, it kind of uplifted the family. And I wasn't really pursuing music on a professional tip. I just knew in my heart and my head where I wanted to go. Matter of fact, I remember going across the street and burying a uh, verse out of the Bible. I don't remember the verse, but I put, I put a prayer in there. I asked God, uh, I said, does your will, you know, give me the opportunity to become a rap star, you know, a professional songwriter and just known for my talents. And I, I just told him, you know, keep me faithful to the friends and family, the, the people that really support my career. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, Hollywood, I would like to thank you for coming all the way from California. I'm throwing 20 some type of 20s, 20 some type of 20s, I'm throwing 20 some type of 20s, 20 some type of 20s, twerk that at girl, twerk that at girl, twerk that at girl, twerk that at girl, now I'm buying bottles on top of bodies. If you'd like to learn more about Loyal Hollywood, perhaps listen to more of his music or touch base with him on social media, head over to the TammyBradleyShow.com. And coming up next, my favorite segment, the Nazi segment, which highlights social media, fashion trends, politics, and celebrity news. Hi, welcome to the Tammy Bradley Show, and I'm Tammy Bradley. I'm so proud to introduce you to the host of the Nasup segment. Nasup segment. 
Oh, we are so excited to be here. I'm Lisa Marie Lumine. I'm Christopher Anthony. And I am Paris Hatcher. <laughs> Great. Good. Well, uh, I heard that we selected our new host. We did yesterday. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, we had the white smoke come out. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I know. But I'm going to tell you, he's not truly Pope until I see those red Prada shoes. <laughs> yes. Well, well you know, you were talking <laughs> earlier, you were saying his background. You know? I know. So he lived a life of poverty. It was uh, self exiled poverty, I guess, that they take this vow of it. Well, now he's the Pope, and he's got like a hundred rooms in this big, you know, Vatican apartment, and he's wearing Prada shoes, you yeah, know? Yeah, he was taking public transportation use. Yes. Did I hear that? Yes. yes. And he so, volunteered, and he did a lot of charity work, and now he's the Pope. He's you know what I like? taking a vow of poverty, you know though. Like? Oh, I know. <laughs> what you I'm taking about? a vow of poverty. All you I'm do not is worship pope. the Lord. Like, that's <laughs> all you do. Uh, all, all you, you do? do. <laughs> what do you mean? So what, you got to have a, uh, you know, a house like the president because you worship the Lord all day? What's wrong with that? No, no but you got to realize this guy come from, I mean, common. He, he yeah. had a studio so apartment. He and, uh, so he could identify. Right. That's yeah. right. What's right. he going to do with the common folk? Yeah. While he's up in his White House penthouse apartment. Well, it gives us encouragement. And you can come from being a commoner to Pope for the people. Yes, you does. think yes. the common people want to be in a Pope position? I like seeing a Pope. You like seeing a pope. You want to be the pope? No, I don't want to be exactly. a pope, but I do enjoy because I feel proving. very blessed when he comes out and says something. Even though I'm not Catholic, I'm <laughs> Jewish, but I I'll still love Prada shoes. I mean, any the day. The Prada shoes, any day. <laughs> Prada shoes. Talking about Prada <laughs> shoes, I think you got something you don't talk to us about. Yes. Um, did you all see Nicki Minaj in the April 2013 oh, Yeah, I like the way that she's trying to revamp her image. I really do. Revamp? Yeah. Like, I do. Girl. I think she's transformed mm. herself, though. She has. Transformed from, herself into a French alive. prostitute. That's oh what that is. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. You know, I always say something mean. You know, I just gotta be honest. It's I'm Nicki sorry. Minaj, okay? She is stuck up. She needs to be punted off her high horse. I like Okay, Nicki she Minaj. has ruined American Idol. American Idol. I don't think that. I think Ruin. Mariah is the diva on that show. Sorry. Mariah is Mariah not Mariah gets on the yeah. last nerve. No, I'm sorry. she is so sweet. Nikki goes up there and it's the same thing every time. Boo boo. I think you Nikki know is I love so you. Real. That's she what I think. Not real. Not I, think she she is. Is. I really do. I think that she's real and she brings that diversity. The only thing you know how much silicone her. is in her body. It's her booty. <laughs> the only thing not real. It's her booty. Tell and me we she's all know real. that. <laughs> the only thing not real in that girl is a booty. What's wrong with silicone? I ain't got it. <laughs> <laughs> but you think I need girl, some? I need to get some. Oh, bro, you good. You good. No, I just need some. Get some pets, some well, silicone you know, Nicki Minaj just did this interview, and she said that she was 100% organic, no plastic surgery except for her booty. Yo, but I think that's not true. No, yeah. because I've seen Wrong before answer. and after pictures, and she looks completely different mm -hmm. than the person she is. She now. almost looks like a what mannequin. Do you mean on her that's face? what I think with her face. Well, you know yeah. what makeup you can contour the nose. That's what she said. Right. That's what she so, said. So maybe she haven't had any surgery done to her face. I no, think I she's promise had you, she's done. using caviar cream. Those little like fifteen hundred dollar bottles of caviar cream that people be using. Mm -mm. What it does? Oh, it makes your face like cement, like marble. It will keep your face preserved. Stevie Nicks uses it. So they tried it. Oh, I yeah, never had to try them. I'm going to give you $1,500 for a Jordan's big. Maybe I should start trying. Oh, no, no, no. No, no. Look Just at that pretty face. Yes. Fierce and fabulous with the snack. Yeah. Two snacks. Two snacks. Two snacks. Yes. So, what you got to gossip about, Chris? Oh, Lord. What is there not to gossip about? Let's see. Miley and Liam oh, heard that my. gossip. January oh, Jones is a homewrecker. Yes. Homewrecker. Oh, Trifling. Oof. Don't even get me started. Like so like he was featured at, not featured, but he showed up to the Oscars with, what's his king's name? Okay, January Jones, who's from mm -hmm. Mad Men. Mm -hmm. And so apparently the whole scoop with January Jones is that a while back she had a baby and mm -hmm. would not name the father of the baby. And okay. everybody, the rumor was that it was the married producer with five children mm -hmm. of her show. Mm -hmm. So she never said who the baby's daddy was. Also, another <laughs> little tidbit about her that makes me not like her is that she makes her assistant carry her baby everywhere. She does not want to get photographed holding her child. Isn't that crazy? Because she thinks it's bad for her image. She wants to keep the sexy image. So, okay, Liam, I know. That's what I'm saying. So Liam and her go to this Oscar party apparently together. Mm -hmm. Miley's at home, and apparently Liam has not liked Miley's whole new edgy look with the short hair. Aww. You know, I don't like it. I'm not a fan of it myself. I, I, not of her. Mm -hmm. So anyway, apparently they go to the Oscar party, mm -hmm. and they laugh together, right? Right. And so now they're not engaged anymore. Miley and Liam wow. have broken up. She tweeted about it, didn't she? She tweeted and she stopped wearing her ring. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, and you know she was in love. That is a gorgeous boy too. Yeah, he is a hunk of something handsome right there. Yeah, so he's a cheater. So I know I hate cheaters. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, what about the Kim Kardashian scandal with the producers admitting that the show was scripted to make Chris Humphries look bad? Oh my gosh! I mean, we all had the suspicions. I can. I can believe it too. And for ratings, to me, I think she's a camera host. Yeah. She no, is a camera whore. See, like, like, yes. Not a whore. Yes. Not at all. You know what it's camera? I love Kim. I love the Kardashian family. I do. You I got Kim. issues. She's, <laughs> I like Chloe. Business savvy. I do. I it. love Kim. But to do that to Chris Humphreys, to fake a marriage yes. for a And two rating? producers. Right. That's hurtful. Two producers That's hurtful. were on the stand mm-hmm. in the divorce settlement, and they admitted that they had scripted scenes oh to make him look bad. Like, for example, one of the episodes had Chris Humphreys throwing a party in the hotel room while she's out working. So Kim Kardashian's out working, and he's throwing this party with all these girls half naked, mm-hmm. and she calls crying, and her mama gets involved. Well, it turns out this whole thing was scripted. The producers Whoa. made it happen. I can believe that. Yeah, and I the whole believe. thing was scripted. So two producers admitted to it on the stand yesterday. Hmm. So, wow. I think it might be the end of the Kardashian reality show. Well, and also, hopefully, no, let's praise God. And also, I'm let's sorry, pray. Paris. I know Paris is upset, but <laughs> also, I do think that Kim Kardashian and Kanye West will have a spin-off reality show with the new baby. Probably. I think, I think that's how I do. it is. Because you know Kanye. Yeah. Kanye's always got something to say about mm-hmm. everything. Mm-hmm. He's, you know, and I don't he think does. he's going to go, like he said, he's going to get out of the spotlight. Mm-hmm. I cannot see him getting out of the spotlight. No. Just no, like Kim right. Kardashian is not going to no. get out of the spotlight. Oh, no. So, who watches Real Housewives of Atlanta? I do. I do. Okay. Do we all know Candy, who wrote for TLC? She wrote No no Scrubs, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so she is in a lawsuit with the Soul Sack girl. Don't be tardy for the party, Kim. That's it. (laughs) Remember her? Don't be tardy for the party. Yeah. Horrific song. She has a spinoff as well. Right, so Candy helped her with her music career, which Mm -hmm. was not even a music career, because the girl, A, couldn't sing. No, she couldn't. No, she couldn't sing. She is a white girl with a wig who thinks she's, you know, because she lives in Atlanta, and she's got her Mr. Big Boyfriend that she can sing. The girl can't sing. She's, you know, they auto doing her and all that stuff. Well, anyway, so Kim wrote her two songs that were very successful online. It went viral. Well, now they're suing each other for the rights to the song. And they are, and they are really hating each other oh on the my show. God. Was yeah. this for the one that was uh, Gone with the Wind Fabulous? That is the that's the other girl. That's that was Kenya. Yes, I Kenya. Love that Gone song. with the Wind Fabulous. Yeah. That's Miss USA, right? Yeah, she was Miss USA. Okay. The she one, is gorgeous. The one who says she can't yeah. go anywhere without getting mistaken for Beyonce. And I was like, honey, yeah, you pretty much want to be. You want no baby. I'm sorry. I don't think you be at all. Yeah, she's handsome, but no, no, no. I'm not handsome. What y'all think about Beyonce performance at the Super Bowl? Although that is old news, I really like touching on it. I really like touching on it because I walked in the door to my house and I looked at my uncle. I said, did you see that fabulous woman at the Super Bowl? And he says, she looked like a slut. I put my middle finger in his face, walked out the room. That is the okay, queen. Okay, but in his defense, Beyonce, I will I say her. this. Beyonce did have a kind of, mm-hmm, and she was kind of shaking her stuff right there in the camera. Exactly. It was a little bit more. You got more, it. Exactly. You got it. Exactly. You got it flaunted oh, that Leotard was I'm riding so girl. far up her fupa. Yeah, it was exactly, exactly. The camera angles were definitely, let's say, flattering uh-huh. for the men. Exactly. Right, exactly. And when they got that snapshot of her looking like a man, ooh, Lord oh, have yes. mercy. That, that and she was bad. Oh she begged to have so that take off. There's about five, six pictures of her during the performance mm-hmm. where she looks just awful because she's in the middle of singing and whipping her hair around. I mean, all not all pictures you're going to take off. Exactly. Right. You're going to look fabulous. Right. I mean, come True. on. Exactly. But here's the human. <laughs> to this horrible, trashy, ooh. Woman tried to sell her children on Facebook. <gasps> to I you were telling me that. Yeah. Yes. She put an ad on Facebook like it's Craigslist or something trying to sell her children for $4,000 to bear her boyfriend out of jail. Now, did she have like five children or four? two? It was two. a two month old oh. baby and a ten month old baby. Can so. you imagine? Not a husband, a boyfriend. Like, how do you? I just don't understand. Probably not even a baby daddy. But even I don't, don't, care. I don't right. care what it is. I'm not going to sell my kids right. for. No, I don't care who it is. But the fact that it was, you know, I think it's even worse that it was a boyfriend. Like, you're not, you know, and it, for such a short period of time from what they were saying, you know, like you dating this dude for six months and you're going to go pawn your kids. Was she arrested? She was. 
great. She is in jail. Okay, that's all into it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, my she, question is, yes. did anybody actually hit her up on Facebook wanting the kids? <laughs> no. Someone <laughs> did message her and said, are you serious? Now, she took it like, you know, an offer. Like, are you for real? Like, I want him. But yeah. she, the woman who, you know, was doing it, she wanted to see if she was serious so she could call CPS and the police. Okay. Well, when she came back with a response saying, yes, I'm serious, 4000 I'll even settle for 1000 for one of them. Then she babies. called the police. Yes. OMG. Like, how do you put a price on a baby's head, especially your own? Oh. Like, it makes no sense Don't at care. all. What Not shame. At all. Speaking of ratchet mothers, what happened to Honey Boo Boo? Honey Boo Boo Child. <laughs> Come in and make me I didn't like, like that. Jesus. I didn't like that show no, at all. Me I mean, me come me. on. That little girl. I, I really, just take I was, her to I'm going to tell you when. But her much. mom, her mom, I mean, she... She really pushed that yeah. issue, you know? Did you see, movie. okay, when she was cooking the turkey and she was basting it with nothing but butter and she coughs all over the turkey? That was yes. good. What? Yes, and she didn't turn away, didn't cover her mouth, anything. Yeah, that I was like, so oh my gosh. Repulsive. Then, the second one I saw, they actually have them pick up roadkill and bring it to them to eat, and they're like, this is how we save money. I'm like, y'all are crazy. Yeah. Where I'm from, you pass up roadkill. You don't yes. put it on the stove and cook it for dinner. Yeah. Yeah. And then, oh, honey boo-boo's going, it's in my belly. Like, that. Yeah, oh and she God. named it before she ate it, which I thought was really weird. Yes, she named it. Named before it. She and so I think it had so a name, she name it? like Snip or Chelsea or something. <laughs> and she's going, "How's everything in there, Chelsea? <laughs> Everything's great." I'm like, "Oh, oh my God, God. That is yeah. disgusting." And disgusting I just, I think that a child, I think that's wrong to have a child like so. Mm-hmm. You know, like yeah. I just, I, I'm. I rate. The, yeah, and mm-hmm. you know, I do. I don't disagree with a lot of beauty pageants, but I do disagree with her because I do feel she's being exploited at a very young age, yes. and that type of behavior mm-hmm. is being promoted, and that's mm-hmm. not the type of behavior the young girl should have. Exactly. Well, you know, I did a show on uh, the positive side of pageants, and yes. I love that. And, and yeah. you all there's a yes. lot and of it was positive. Show, right. Innocent kids, beautiful mm-hmm. children, and there's a uh, lot of the positive. parents was not pushing them. They, mm-hmm. you know, the kids wanted to do yes. it. Yes, I mean, I like the makeup scene. I like to, you know, dress Me up. The too. Barbie. When we were young kids, I mean, I used to play with Barbie. And I mean, mm-hmm. we, I mean Barbie was out oh, when yes. I was Yes, oh my gosh, you know, <laughs> love <Barbie. laughs> And I mean, we even hosted a uh, beauty pageant together, you That's, and I. I and that? I mean, we had the most beautiful little girls. They really? loved what they were was doing. It, hard to judge? it was. It was. Because, you know, you don't want to hurt the children. Mm-hmm. But then again, they have some of these kids that just own it. They come up on the stage <laughs> That's and they right. own you it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. no, I want to hurt the children. Because some of y'all is not. Yeah, you want to hurt the children. I'm sorry, I've seen ugly children. Oh I gosh. was one of them because I was you. one of them. No, I'm no, sorry. I can't believe that you were yes. no. too gorgeous to be no. ugly. No, 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 no. no. Yes, I, I was. That. I had long hair down in here. I had like a pepperoni face, and I'm sitting in the yearbook doing it. Don't listen to him. Well, y'all should see some of my yearbook <laughs> pictures. <I'm, laughs> I wouldn't want to show it to anybody. <laughs> Jerry Curl at the time. Isn't oh, it? Jerry Curl? Yeah, 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 yeah. You that? Oh, oh my God, I did oh, my picture. Right. I have Jerry Curl too. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. In high school, I had the Jerry Curl. Carol Bush. I really didn't Seriously? have that. And I just what? looked totally different. So, <laughs> your younger days, when you look back on the yearbook, I mean, you yeah. don't look the same. Oh, like I, had, I had done the purple hair with the Kool Aid because I was doing the brunch <laughs> thing. <laughs> yes, I'm dating myself by saying that, but I had done the purple hair with the Kool Aid. Oh, my really? God. Yes, and so my yearbook picture, I have purple hair and I'm looking like a punk. I'm trying to look all bad. And I just look ridiculous. <laughs> right? I look like, you know, I'm constipated or something. It's awful. <laughs> it's a horrible memory for me. And then another one, I tried to put my hair back and it came out where it was all mm-hmm. sad. Sideways and it looked like a sideways fro, so it didn't look pretty. So none of my pictures are pleasing. But I do no, have a question for our Nostra table. But wait, wait, let's see if pa- question, a, question. let's see if Paris one first. I'm high school. Uh, Yours is high. no, because she know, like Paris is all- perfect. I'm <laughs> no, that's what I want her to tell Paris me. Paris, probably, were you always like this? I mean, come on. Because she, is, you know how I love my yearbook pictures. Paris is naturally photoshopped. Yeah. Exactly. Paris, you're naturally <laughs> photoshopped. Had to be together. Oh, you're so, cheerleading yeah. happy. Yeah. Really? Oh, oh wow. my lord. Now, what question? Okay, here's my saying? question for the NOS obsession. Okay, so if y'all had children, mm-hmm. okay, some of us do, some of us don't, would we put them in beauty pageants? I personally think I would if my daughter showed interest, or myself for that matter. Now, it would I, have to be there, them wanting it. I would not push my child yeah. to do it. Mm-hmm. But I do see mothers that do that. Right. How about you? Well, you know, I, I'm a pageant director. Yes. I've been. Uh, having pageants for like 22 years now. Mm-hmm. And I've seen kids, now I don't like parents who push kids into pageants. Mm-hmm. I've got some kids that naturally want to be in pageants. Yes. Uh, my oldest daughter, she didn't like pageants. But my youngest one, she, she loves pageants. Yeah. So it all depends on the kid. If mm-hmm. the kid wants to do it, 
course I'll put them in brown. You put them in it. Of course I'll yeah. put them in. I love them. You I wouldn't have a problem up. with it, but guess what? You better bet your behind. I'm not putting my little girl up there in a tube top and a skirt <gasps> like they oh, do no, with Honey no. Boo Boo. Like Honey oh, Boo Boo. Oh, no. Boo-Boo. That's not, that's not classy. Yeah, I, 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 we have Belly all hanging out over oh, her no, skirt no, just no, like doing this. No, no, no. She's like, this is what I showed the judges right here. Of course I would, but I would not force the issue on my child. I would, hey, would you like to be in pageants? Yes, I would. I'll go no forward choice. with it. I, mommy, I don't want to do this anymore. We don't That's do it. this. Just remember, if it's hot in Hollywood, we'll have it in Nassau. I'm Paris Hatcher. I'm Christopher Anthony. I'm Lisa Marie Lemonade. And I'm Tammy Bradley. Literally, you don't. Like, once again, this is, you know, Army uniform inspired. But it's not army uniform at all. And right. it's not casual top. This is actually how it's coming down the runway. It looks fabulous. The top is getting tucked into the shorts. And then you have the gray three-quarter leg tank, um, turtleneck on top. Yes, girl. And then we're going into the full on pat leather dresses that have the great seam work. Don't be laughing, sister. You better stop and drop it like that. Maintain, right. gather, close together before I close side, before I close, and take the lockbox off the front right. door. Right. Okay. Now. We are back. Look at, see, it's the patent leather dress, which is going to be very gothic oh, and yeah. influenced. It's going to have a big chunky zipper up the back. Yes. And it's got seam work down here at the forearm area, yes. which is going to be yummy. So this is very dominatrix, vampy, gothic, punk rock, powerful, um, which bounces off of the military. Okay. Thanks for joining me on this debut edition of the Tammy Bradley Show. I'll see you next Monday and have a great day. They flying, we stay rolling up scale. Upscale, upscale, baby grinding, got these diamonds, baby got me.